How's it going guys? Boyna Scanner here back with another video and today we're going to be looking at a couple different antennas. The first one we're going to be looking at is the Rimtronics antenna. You've probably heard about this one. It's a very popular antenna that you can purchase for the SDS-100. We're also going to be taking a look at the Procom Spider antenna and in a few minutes we'll be running outside to take a look at that. But first I've been, I wanted to let you know, I've been trying to figure out a way to film this to uh, compare these different antennas. So I have quite a few different antennas I want to compare. So I'll probably release a few different videos comparing antennas. And the way I'm gonna do this, before I was trying to record and uh, you know clip out everything in between. So what I realized is I could just go ahead and utilize the built-in record replay feature. So I'm just letting the scanner record uh, or scan for, you know, a couple hours or so. And then I just go back and hit the replay button. And then I can capture the audio that way and just record it on the screen. And that way there's no gaps in between the audio. And then we can hear the, the audio just as it came through on the scanner. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So what I'll do is just take you outside and let you see the antenna. And then we'll go ahead and jump back inside. So without further ado, let's head outside and take a look at that new antenna. All right, here's the Procom Spider scanner antenna. I'll put some specs on screen here. Here's an angle from below. And if you guys want me to pull this antenna down, I will go ahead and pull it down and kind of show you what it looks like and how to put it together. Um, I kind of rushed to get it up. It's about 15 feet high on this metal pole. And I have it grounded down here as well the pole so like I said if you guys want me to pull this down I will go ahead and do that let me know uh, anyway let's head inside and listen to uh, the audio quality the white Nissan Sentra it's gonna be a half a mile east of the gas plant on the south side and the canal. Copy, you want your air cleared? <laughs> All units clear the air for emergency traffic only. Sound emergency traffic is allowed here. The white Nissan Sentra is going to be a half a mile east of the gas plant on the south side and the canal. So we went and got our quarter today. Can't wait for some ribeyes tomorrow night. Come on. Can you check on that vehicle at 900 North and 91 and see if it's gone? Huffer. He told me that I just don't remember what time. Me radar service terminated contact focus to tower 119.1. Thank you. 
All right, so that is the test with the Procom Spider antenna against the popular Rimtronics. And I really noticed that the Procom Spider antenna, the home base antenna, is excellent at conventional frequencies. So if you are listening to air bands, um, ham radio, stuff like that with the SDS-100, that, that uh, Procom Spider antenna is really, really good at got a structure fire here this morning that I was listening to. Anyway, it really provides a lot of audio quality. So I really suggest if you guys are interested in checking out that Procom Spider antenna, the cheapest I've found it is actually on eBay and I'll put a link down below for you to find that. I only paid $43, I believe, for that Procom Spider antenna. I actually found out about that antenna locally, uh, believe it or not, at a Radio Shack that's still open in my local area. And they were actually selling that for $80. So I'm glad I waited and just checked it out online. I know it's always good to support your local businesses, although I wanted to do some more research on that Procom because I have seen some negative reviews on that antenna. Um, I haven't had one bit of problem with it. So like I said, if you guys do want me to um, pull that Procom Spider antenna down and kind of show you that uh, close up and maybe how to put it together, I will go ahead and do that uh, if you're interested in that. But it's an excellent antenna for the SDS-100 if you want a base antenna at your house. Uh, like I said, I have that outside um, about 20 feet away from the house on a 15 foot metal pole is all. I'd like to get it up a little bit higher to see what to see if that helps any, but I think it's doing wonderful where it's at right now. And so it comes with 50 foot of coax. So that's really, really super nice for the price, obviously. Um, I know you really want to spend a decent amount on good coax, although the one I'm using that came with the Procom Spider is working fantastic. So uh, for now that is the review on the Procom Spider, the comparison between that and the Rimtronics. I'm going to be doing some more of these kind of just comparison videos just to put up and let you guys listen to the audio quality. The airport that I was listening to that, that captured with the, the Procom Spider is about 50 miles away. Um, obviously, some of the air traffic that I picked up could be flying overhead, although this Rimtronics antenna here doesn't do super well with conventional airband frequency, so I was really impressed with how clear the airband was coming through with that Procom Spider. So, and again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got some value. Go ahead and like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it gave you some value. Make sure to leave any suggestions, any videos you want to see about the SDS-100 down below in the comments. That always helps me. And we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.